Hello, this video covers how to assess body temperature. Normally you do everything on this list, but to keep things concise, this video will focus on the steps in blue and will also cover special populations like infants and the elderly and include a summary. Meet Fred. Fred's deep core temperature is stable, averaging 37.2 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Fred's oral temperature is also normal, 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Fred's body temperature is where it should be. But what if it weren't? Fred might be hyperthermic or feel feverish depending on the cause of his excess heat. Fever is when the body's hypothalamic temperature set point increases, often caused by infection, inflammation, or malignancy. Hyperthermia is when the body retains too much heat. A temperature between 37.5 and 38.3 degrees Celsius, or 99.5 and 100.9 degrees Fahrenheit, is classified as hyperthermic. A temperature above 40 degrees Celsius, or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, can be life-threatening. Or, Fred could be hypothermic. He might have been exposed to cold for a prolonged period of time, accidentally or in preparation for a medical procedure. A temperature below 34.0 degrees Celsius or 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit is classified as hypothermic. Let's check. We can measure Fred's temperature in several ways. Attach the blue oral probe stem to the thermometer. Slide a disposable cover over the temperature probe. Ask Fred to open his mouth and insert the thermometer into one of Fred's posterior sublingual pockets, at the base of his tongue, not in front of it. Ask Fred to keep his lips closed. Wait 20 to 30 seconds or until the thermometer chimes. Is Fred comatose, confused, critically ill, or in shock? Is he unable to close his mouth? Use a rectal probe for the most accurate measurement. Roll Fred over and into the Sims position with the upper leg bent. Wear gloves. Attach the red rectal probe stem to the thermometer. Slide over a disposable probe stem cover and apply plenty of lubricant. With one hand, separate Fred's buttocks. Ask Fred to breathe slowly. Now insert the lubricated probe about three centimeters just over an inch deep into the direction of the umbilicus. When the thermometer chimes, you can remove the probe and read the temperature. Fred's rectal temperature will be 0.4 to 0.5 degrees Celsius, or 0.7 to 1 degree Fahrenheit higher than Fred's oral temperature. This is the most accurate reflection of his core body temperature. We can also take Fred's axillary temperature. Attach the blue oral probe stem to the thermometer. Slide over a disposable probe stem cover. Lift up Fred's arm to reveal the axilla. There should be no lesions present. They may cause pain or an inaccurate reading. Center the probe in the axilla and fold Fred's arm over and onto his chest. Again, wait until you hear the thermometer chime. A normal axillary temperature is between 35.5 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius, or 95.9 degrees Fahrenheit and 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Tympanic Membrane Temperature Procedure The tympanic membrane thermometer, or TMT, measures infrared emissions from Fred's eardrum. It's effective in most cases, but accuracy may be affected by infections like otitis media or just cerumen. Slide a disposable cover over the temperature probe. Now hold the thermometer with your dominant hand. If that's the right hand, place the probe tip in Fred's left ear canal, pulling the pinna back and up. If you're left-handed, use the right ear canal. Applying gentle pressure, aim the beam at the tympanic membrane. Do not block the canal. Press the scan button and remove the thermometer when you hear the chime. 
A normal tympanic temperature is between 35.4 degrees Celsius and 37.8 degrees Celsius, or 95.7 degrees Fahrenheit and 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Another choice is to take Fred's temporal artery temperature. Hold down the scan button a few centimeters away from the forehead. Infants and children. Meet Sam, Fred's nephew. Is Sam under eight years old? His fevers will run higher than in adults, up to 40.5 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Is Sam old enough to keep his mouth closed? Use an electronic thermometer for the fastest oral reading. Is Sam squirmy? Use the tympanic route. It'll be over before he knows it. Is Sam upset, unconscious, or ill? Insert the lubricated red-tipped electronic probe 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch into his rectum. Don't go further. Sam's colon curves posteriorly at 3 centimeters. Sam's normal rectal temperature is higher than in adults. For Sam, the axillary temperature route is easier and more pleasant than the rectal route. However, it may be less reliable than other methods because Sam's skin temperature might rise artificially. Place the thermometer deep into the axilla and hold Sam's arm close to his body. Summary. Now time for a quick recap. Take Fred's oral or axillary body temperature with the blue probe. Simply slide over a disposable cover and hold the thermometer in the sublingual pocket or axillary until it chimes. Otherwise, take Fred's body temperature at the rectum, tympanic membrane, or temporal artery.